More than 100,000 tons of sugar a year moves through this once derelict port in Mozambique. Ten years ago, only two or three thousand tons shipped out. This is a, it's a huge and fantastic warehouse with a capacity to accommodate more than 15,000 tons. And uh, as you can see, we're still loading the, we're still filling the warehouse. Filling it with sugar from Mozambique, South Africa, Swaziland, for shipment all over the world. Security around the port is tight. It used to be that much of the cargo and even the equipment here would be lost to thieves. The port's manager says security teams would kill thieves at a rate of about one a week. And the night shift here was so dangerous, operations shut down at dusk. Now, lights, substantial buildings, and a solid fence keep the port safe and operating around the clock. Security is, is a pretty high priority issue. Uh, security in African ports is not good. And one of our priorities has been to make this port the equivalent of European standard. And it is near to that standard now. Better security means better business. The port's management makes a return on its investment and about 70% of the profits go to Mozambique. Projects like this boost the country's economy. Mozambique's infant mortality is falling and school enrollments are rising as people here begin to climb out of extreme poverty. And there is a lot of people inv involved in it working and are helping their families. And the consequence of that is the country itself that is getting developed. Much better. Where we take three hours from the border up to here, we are just take, take now three quarter hour. The port relies on clear roads to move cargo, and the Mozambique South African border is busier now than ever. Dear boys, dear. Day after day, the influx of traffic increases, like the 80 trucks that come every day going to the port of Maputo. First there were 20, then 40, now 80. These trucks carry sugar, iron and raw materials north to the port. Commerce stops only at night, and that's only because customs shuts down at 10 p.m.